Hello guys, uh, so this is uh, part two of creation of Azure HTTP trigger function. So in part one, we have uh, seen that what is what is uh, HTTP trigger Azure function, how it works, and the most important is that what is the uh, main requirement in a real scenario of creation of that Azure function. So we have all covered in the part one, and this is the link of uh, the first part, HTTP uh, trigger function, how to create HTTP trigger function to update Cosmos collection. So in this, I have uh, created one uh, Cosmos DB and then Cosmos collection we created and then created our uh, one of the Azure basic function. And using the Postman, we uh, checked how it how it works. So I'll, I'll be resuming this uh, video in what we'll update a Cosmos based on the uh, some sort of parameters which will pass in the Azure function. But before uh, we continue here. I would highly recommend that you guys watch this video because this is the basics that how we uh, how we did in first part and I will not be recovering all those stuff. I'll be just continuing from uh, the point where I left in the part one. Okay, so here is my uh, Cosmos collection which we created uh, in what I added three records one two and three. They are just uh, static records I added at the time and you can see the city property is null for let me just zoom it a bit so that it can be clearly visible okay so now you can see the city property is empty for all of the collection thereafter we created one function which is the http trigger function and uh, we uh, we have seen that how basic uh, functionality of this function works and we called that using the postman and uh, we were able to receive the data now further what we want we want to update the city property of each row each uh, row of this collection and for that we have in we have to actually integrate our cosmos collection so this this was the r function uh, update cosmos collection which we created now here is a integrate manage and monitor three uh, menus out of which you have to click on this integrate and on the integrate you would see two things two important things which you need to implement one is the input and second one is the output parameter so in the input parameter you have to click on the new input and thereafter you have to select which type of operation you want to do for, for in our example we want to update our cosmos like we want to interact with cosmos so you have to select this cosmos and click on select now there are three properties which you need to provide one is the database name like so in our case our database name is cosmos tv test second thing sorry, second thing you need to provide your collection name and our collection is emp collection collection is in cosmos is equivalent to the table in sql okay so this is collection and then the connection string so this is your input parameter in what three properties are imp important and first one this is the name of your input so you can name it anything this would be input docs anything uh, but the, this name has to be same when you are uh, passing the parameter using the postman and these are the three things three things so i have already provided all those three things here's my azure cosmos tp input box in what i updated the connection string the database name emp collection which i want to update and then the parameter name of input one similarly you have to provide three things for the output one as well we'll see uh, how how they works and what what's the role of those so here's the name of parameter and then a uh, db name and then the collection name so again the connection string so once you are uh, done with the uh, provi providing of the input and the output uh, parameters for the function now you're good to go now we'll see how uh, in practical scenario now how it is working so let's uh, come here once again to see the first of all the output now you can see the output uh, the value is null now using the postman we have to call this and to call this we have uh, our url Either you can run from here as well, but we will be running from uh, Postman. Okay, get function URL, copy this URL. I already have that URL. Now here is my URL. Now what is my requirement is, there are two requirements uh, I have. One is, if I provide an ID, which is one, two or three, anything, then I should be able to update, update only that record. If I do not provide any ID, then it should update entire rows, right? So in my case, I am going to provide uh, the ID, which is three, and then the uh, three record is a Z1. So I'll, I'm providing the city as well. So if I click on the send button, it is still sending. Okay, 
So click on uh, params. Now you see city Z city, which I just provided for ID three, which was the ID has been updated successfully. Now if I uh, come here and click on the record number two, which is why we do not have the city for the one, we do not have the city, but for the three, we should have the city Z city. This is our first requirement. The second requirement, if I do not provide the ID, that means and maybe city for all click on this and now it should update the city for each row. city property for all the emp has been updated successfully now let's come here and see it is city for all it is city for two and for the set it is city for all so this is what we wanted to achieve this with the uh bigger function and to do so we ha also have to modify the code now this is uh, in the previous uh, video you have seen a simple uh, code was was written here which was just logging which was getting the data from the query string and then saying hello now this is modified one but that does not any tricky code here it is just there are actually two conditions one is which i have uh, first of all it actually fetches a data id from the query string id in the city if uh, it exists in the uh, query parameter uh, then it is okay but if it does not exist then it will look for the request one so in our example we have not provided in the url although we have provided <coughs> we have provided in the body tag that is why it is able to fetch the city and the data and then after it checks that whether we have supplied the id or not in case if we have supplied the id then it is uh, going to update city else it will update all now update all and update cities are really interesting functions here and actually they are just interacting with the cosmos collection which is this one and the how it is interacting as we have provided the uh, uh, integration input and output parameter through which it automatically identifies which uh, collection it needs to interact with and once it is uh, able to identify that uh, collection it easily just update whether it is the entire collection or based on this uh, selected collection based on the id and the second one is which was the output parameter that comes at last from the picture in what after all the operations uh, you have uh, updated in a list then you just have to uh, write it in the cosmos collection and you do it with using this output docs dot add sync so once you complete this we are just returning based on what operation this function has uh, completed so this was the practical example of creation of http trigger and with the real requirement you guys if you have any query or comments or you would, would like to have uh, some more inputs on that uh, you can you can comment anytime i'll be happy to answer on those thank you for watching this video